Hello, this is Dar Payment from darpayment.com and whispersfromheaven.com with this week's tips, tricks, and how to's, where it's all about angel communication and psychic development. The topic of this week's mini tutorial is how to perform a simple one card spread with your angel or oracle cards. These methods can also be used with traditional tarot card decks as well. There are numerous variations of oracle card spreads that you can learn when you're discovering the art of reading the cards. And although some of the card spreads can be really complex, they can also be very simple. And what I've found after 30 plus years of working with tarot and oracle cards for myself and others is that one of the simplest and most effective manners of performing an oracle card reading either for yourself or others is with a one card draw. Okay. I know what you're thinking, one card? You know, although at first blush, a one card tarot reading might not seem like a lot to go on, but it's important to remember how tarot and oracle cards have been designed, because each card has the ability to provide you with a plethora of information through the visual symbols and individual art depicted on the cards. This brings up a common question regarding one card oracle card readings. What are they best suited for? Well, in my experience, there are three really great ways that one card readings are best suited for. And the first one is for simple yes or no questions. For example, is it my highest and best interest to enroll in Tai Chi class? Or is the week of May 1st the best week for me to launch my new book? And so on and so forth. Daily card for spiritual and personal growth. Angel Oracle and Tarot Cards are a wonderful way to connect with your angels and spirit guides to receive daily personal and spiritual guidance, and is also a rewarding way to deepen your relationship with your spiritual team as well. Determining the energy or theme going on or around a certain situation. Determining if the energy around a certain situation is either positive or negative is obviously helpful for numerous reasons. The most important is being able to receive the insight you need to either plan ahead to protect yourself or to positively work with these energies and or to avoid the situation altogether. Okay, so how do you perform a simple one card reading? Number one, cleanse and clear your cards. There are a number of ways to do this, and everyone has their own unique style. And if you'd like some additional ideas, head on over to my YouTube channel and watch the tutorial on how to energetically clear angel cards. Two, take a few deep grounding breaths. This helps you to not only clear your mind, but it also serves to help you center and ground your energy. Three, shuffle your cards while thinking of your question. Make sure your question is specific and clear. If you're performing a daily card pull for spiritual or personal development, here's the prayer I like to use as I shuffle the cards. Mother, Father, God, and my guardian angels, what do you want me to know today? Next, fan your cards out before you on your working space while continuing to focus on your question. Five. Now here's the fun part. Allow your hand to intuitively pick a card. Don't take too much time doing this, because the first card you notice is the one you need to pick. 6. Now that you've chosen your card, take a few cleansing breaths again and ask yourself, how does this card relate to my question? What am I seeing, hearing, feeling, or just know about my question based on this card? And 7. Be open and honest with the information that flows through. And remember, the first impressions you receive are always the right impressions. As with any tool, the more you work with it, the more skilled you get. One card oracle card spreads will help you gain a valuable amount of self-confidence in your card reading skills and provide you with a time-saving shortcut for gleaning valuable information to benefit your life path as well as that of others. So have fun, and more importantly, remember to have a playful and open attitude as you begin to deepen your relationship with your spiritual team as you learn to work with your cards on a daily basis. Did you like this video tutorial? Let me know by either leaving me a comment 
liking this video, and or subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.darpayment.com for more articles, tips, and free resources on angel communication and psychic development. Thanks for watching. This is Dar Payment wishing you blessings, love, and light.